Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain how to perform act column experiment for University of South Florida Chemical Engineering Lab 2. In this video, we will go over the objectives, do overview of the main concept, show equipments and devices used, go over safety concerns involved in this experiment, and finally, go through the procedure step by step. Objective of this experiment is to study the operation and design of a stripping column. Mass transferring gas liquid is a physical phenomenon by which gas liquid molecules are exchanged between a liquid and a gas at a gas liquid interface. Flooding is an increase of gas flow rate and pushes up and the liquid flowing down counter currently <clears throat> eventually leading to a situation when the liquid can no longer flow down and accumulates in the column. Absor uh, absorption is an increase of the concentration of the gas in the liquid phase as long as this phase is not saturated with the gas under the given conditions of temperature and pressure. Stripping is a decrease of the concentration of the gas in the liquid when the liquid phase is oversaturated. Empirical correlation published by Erbar and Maddox to estimate number of stages. Use of concept of pi equivalent to a theoretical plate to convert the number of theoretical stages required to a back in height. Equipment and devices we use in this experiments are ammonia ion selective probe, which is used to determine the concentration of ammonia in the solution, packed bed column, which, which the mass transfer occurs, and flow meter glass liquid, which is used to measure the flow rate of the gas and liquid. Safety concerns involved in this experiment are 1 making sure the gas outlet tubing is positioned in the hood so that the outlet gas will not go into the room. Two, don't run the compressor without the flow valve on the gas flow meter open. Three, take, take care not to damage the membrane by wiping across during cleaning or by hitting with a magnet, with a magnetic steer bar. Four, Inhalation of ammonia is very toxic, can cause death. First part of the experiment is to determine mass transfer ammonia, in this case, from the liquid to gas. First, turn the air blower and pump on. Then, adjust the liquid flow to 0.05 gal per minute and air flow to about 2 cubic feet per minute. Note that, note, that the note the temperature and wait 20 minutes for the column to reach a near steady state operation. Then collect two samples of about 50 milliliter from the valve near the bottom of the column and two samples from the feed tank after draining out the tap. Finally, measure the concentration of these samples using the electrode and the concentration of ammonia in the exit gas stream using the ammonia sensor and the fuel hood. The second bar of this experiment is to check for flooding conditions. First, set the liquid flow at 0 0.1 gal per minute initially to test, the to test for flooding conditions. Then, increase air flow rate until the column starts to float as indicated by raising, rising liquid from the bottom the column and the appearance of air bubbles in the liquid. Record the air flow rate at which flooding occurs. Once the flooding velocity is reached, stop liquid flow and air flow to, column, to the column, shut off the compressor and blower, and wait approximately 10 minutes to drain the column. This is the end. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening.